sacred flying pig. The myth is real. Also, not good. Looks like you won't be going adventuring anytime soon, Indy. No, I, I don't think you understand. I need to finish my expedition of the Rick Garden. I'm terribly sorry. You're at Rick. I'm sure they'll understand. You were viciously attacked. But I need to retrieve that ancient artifact. That won't be necessary. Boarding needs you. The removal of the ancient artifact has put Rick's security at risk. We need your extensive knowledge of ancient history. We need to know if there have been any past contacts at this site. What do you mean by contacts? Ah, pleasure to meet you, Indy. I've heard a lot about your excellent growth since you've been at Rick. Your expeditions have helped us to expand the archives considerably. Thank you, sir. No, no, no. Around here we we'll be able to go by first name basis. Call me Mandrake. This way. You look startled, but don't worry. No nation is trying to attack us. However, the mission to retrieve the sacred idol has upset someone. We received an encrypted message last night. I've never seen anything like this before. Wait, hold on. This could be a variation on Fibonacci? Yeah, could be. I know this looks like a threat. We can only hope it isn't. Wait, so who's it from? It came from outer space. Kind of. It was sent by a life form unheard of anywhere on Earth. At Rick, we merely thought it was symbolic. But... The school mascot. You're kidding me. No. That's why it wants the artifact back. We figured it was some old forgotten work by a student. Not a totem for this creature. We wouldn't have thought it could exist. Not even at Rick, where everything is possible. We didn't believe it at first either, but the composites that make it up are otherworldly. We think it can shoot a poisonous liquid out of its nostrils. Wait. This image has been used before. Irish druids used to worship them as sacred. There's a tale that they used to use magic to conjure up a fog that would cover the entire Irish coast to make it look like one massive floating hog. The sound of a thousand druids chanting made the coast seem alive. I don't think we need to fight it. We can try and communicate with it through... Can 
Congratulations, Indy. Learning all those languages in one hour is quite a feat. Thank you. We needed a backup in case it won't respond to our music. Indeed. However, I would suggest we take at least one more precaution. So, darling. You need something stylish. Not these old cowboy rags and that oh, sombrero. Yeah, sure. And but, now uh, you'll be facing this big alien monster creature, right? We'll try to communicate with it in every way possible, but yes, in case diplomacy fails. Yes, yes, backups, I know. Rick is good with alternatives. Now, black is coming back in style. It adds an air of mystery. As much as I said I hate capes, you're not the one flying. So maybe we could add one. Also acts as protective material against the believed poisonous substance. Look. I think you're overthinking it. It just needs to be slick and practical. Worst case scenario is I'll have to fence against it. Right, of, of course. What was it exactly? Talketh with me, mighty pig of Rick. Great error hath erupted, an error that we can fix. There was no knowledge of thy existence prior the typewriter's song. No brain, however strong, could conceive the totem was your kin. Nayest try in all your wrath to spite us with your venom. Yet in this day I see thee stand in truth. You are the example of how pigs really can fly. And noble and striking pig, can one forgive me for removing the icon of worship? Let us talk soft on civil ground. Must we fight in the name of revenge when one can lessen the strain on thy wings in the spirit of diplomacy or the venture for peace? Or give me no choice. What would you have in exchange for it? Speak. And cut. Beautiful. That was really good. Thanks, Ed. End 13.4, take four. Sorry, it just fell past her. One more. Thank you. What do you think? Is this good? Yeah, that's really good. Thanks, Rowena. Well, what do you think? Hi, Luca. Um, I think it's. Um, I think it's great. Obviously, fabulous production values. Um, I love all those um, cinematic illusions. I think they're going to go down really well, particularly with our film students. Um, I was just wondering, though, mm. do you think it might be possible? Um, and I don't want to interfere with your kind of creative yeah, of vision. Um, I just wondered if we could have something that was a little bit more promotional, something that actually showcases what the school does. OK, what are you thinking? I'm thinking maybe we open with the head um, straight to camera, nice suit, um, espousing the philosophy of the school. And then we cut, we cut to um, a drone shot, a drone flying over the campus. And, and drones, I think we need more drones. What do you, what do you think? Could we do that? Is that all right? Right. 